The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Before dinner, it's always important to have the odd aperitif. And today, the aperitif is at the Sky Lounge in the brains behind me. The Golden Brains, so nicknamed by the Muscovites in this uh, building built between in the late 80s. Hopefully, it will give us a good view of the city. Again, it's part of vegging out. It's part of dining out. It's part of drinking out. To find that perspective over where we, where we are, get an idea of what we're drinking. Perhaps we'll have a little cocktail, perhaps I'll have a Russian beer. Perhaps we'll try find the Baltic 11. Does it even exist? I don't know. We'll see. But um, it'll provide good respite after our little walk in the hot sun that Moscow has pleasurably given us. And um, so looking forward to it. And that's where we're off to before heading back to get dressed for dinner. I'm not much of a pineapple person, but pineapple works in that. That is what I need. That is a refreshing drink, isn't it? <laughs> glad you like it. That is a I'm, refreshing drink. I'm glad I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> Great order. <sighs> Strawberry mojito. And they really did go all out with the strawberry. What it feels like to reach the promised land. The truffle, the dream, has been attained. So just come back from Varvary, also known as Barbarian, and we've had a quite magnificent meal. Lived up to expectations, the service was magnificent, the rooftop terrace, ambiance was magnificent, even the fellow diners to watch were magnificent. And with a nervous start when looking at the right hand side of the menu, and also the first dish with the meat eaters having four dishes on their plate and the vegetarian only having three made me very nervous that it, my menu was going to be meat minus one degustation menu, which I've had before, and that disappoints. But they just kicked on big time. I had beautiful dishes tonight. Real thought gone behind it. Had everything with it, texture, taste, just change of pace and lovely. Not too much alcohol, virtually a glass of champagne, a glass of white, and that was it. That's all we had. Uh, didn't need any more, it was beautiful. Um, I'm feeling very content. Um, I've got what I want out of it. I've reached the promised land. Hundred million, twenty million, something like that. 
the Russians will send you up into uh, oh, the yeah. space station. You can be a space tourist. That'd be good. It's the day after the night before recovery, Mojito O'Clock, and uh, just in a courtyard cafe, away from the hustle and bustle of central Moscow, and reflecting on how one copes with eating after such a beautiful divine experience. And unfortunately, we've got to do it. Dinner is arriving pre-train, as you can see. But I want to think about breakfast, I want to think about eating after having a divine meal, and it's always clumsy, it's always, now I use the word obtuse, how the coarse texture of bread and a not so well-made coffee and some cereal just roughens the mouth up again to the usual staple of food. Anyway, we move on, onwards and upwards. St. Petersburg is calling, and um, the finale of the trip is coming. And we've hit some big highs. We've gone for a whoosh <coughs> with the cosmonauts at the Cosmonaut Museum this afternoon. We've hit the heights of excellence outside the Olympic Stadium. And um, it's good, Moscow is good much to see and do, much to taste. The experience isn't over, there's enough here to come back to.